What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Bit Mining Limited today, BTCM. It's a stock. They mine crypto. They mine Bitcoin, and they're having a good week so far. We're up 12.16%. This one comes to us at the request of Fonzie. Hey, what's going on, Fonzie? Thank you for the request, man. We're doing this one for you. Um, sorry if that was a little a little lame, guys, but but got to do it for the Fonz, man. Uh, looking at it here from low to high not really respecting this fib scale at all so so we might not use it we might not it doesn't look too respected you know not not really at all so let's see maybe we can flip this thing around and try and get a better better estimate here let's see okay this this looks a little bit more respected still not too respected but you did tip the 886 all the way up there Came down, found support a little bit above the 236, which is just strange, but it's it doesn't you don't need to tip these lines exactly, you know, so that's okay. I would expect overall with this structure nonetheless that you likely will see prices that are up at like seven, ten dollars, even higher than that. Um, fill this gap, you know. Uh, this one two seven two is like literally right toward the top area of this gap. This one six one eight here would basically fill this one as well. So um, 2272, fairly common one as well, filling that gap. So, so I think that this does coincide with some things, but I don't know, man. It's really hard. I'm a fib guy, you know. And whenever things don't line up, I just I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, from top to bottom here, let's see. It's a little fake out bottom, so I, we'll actually get this here. You're at the 382. You could find resistance here. Beyond that, you know, you kind of do have a little bit of a weekly close right here, which is an area of resistance as well. You found support on this line before. You found support on it before. So it makes total sense that you could find resistance here. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, um, you kind of come down and bounce off of this like $3.05 area, previous area where you found resistance here, make that support and then continue higher. You could just go straight through, man. It is possible, but it wouldn't, it, don't be surprised if tomorrow we open up um, and start moving down. You know, maybe you open up green, but you start moving down tomorrow. And that doesn't mean that things are detrimental and that this move is over and that blah, 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 you're going to zero. Um, after all, what you have is a low here, you have a higher low and then a higher low, and then you see where I'm going, right? Another, another higher low and yet another higher low. And all you've had is higher highs throughout this range as well. Yes, I guess these are lower highs technically, but I don't know. I, I like these two higher highs consecutively with all these lower lows or higher lows. So I, I would think that you are on your way to making a higher high. Maybe, just maybe, you'll double top with this high come back down, form another higher low, continue to do your thing, and then you'll have like this ascending triangle kind of formation, whatever. I know I didn't draw that perfectly, but you see what I'm going for, right? You can you can kind of see it. Um, and then from there, on your next attempt, maybe not your like absolute next attempt, but the attempt after that, maybe that's when you'll break through it sometime toward the end of this year, if not next year. And when you break through that, I bet you'll see a very miraculous rally. Not that moving all the way up from $3 to to about, let's see, I guess that would be around, probably around like $4.36, 36 cents. Not that that wouldn't be miraculous in itself, but but I do expect that regardless of how high up you get, you probably do run run into some turbulence right around here at $4.40, somewhere there. Um, I know that you have a top all the way up here and you have a top down here as well. But this thing has a market cap, a very low market cap of 32.89 million. So completely accurate patterns are not always present in these things. You can have wicks to the upside and that's why taking it from a closing basis can be a little bit more helpful. I think that it's a little bit more obvious that we do have a, a flat top here along with this ascending range. But uh, you know, it is kind of a funky looking, it's almost like it wants to roll over, but I don't think it will. I think this higher low is, is the real deal. I think, let's see. You are below the 50 on your long-term RSI and you're above the purple line, but the way that this is behaving right now, it looks like below the purple line is the area to buy. So I think I think you were just in a prime buy zone. You're coming out of it. Earnings look like they were decent, whatever. Um, not bad at least, right? So I think, I think you're having some positive reactions based on that maybe or just based on the fact that this is a general area where you would continue to build. Um, you know, I don't really know if I have more that I want to say. I don't think it's go time for this thing just yet because this is a crypto mining stock after all. So, you know, crypto itself is not in the 
go time phase just yet. It still has some proving to do. It still has some probably consolidating, maybe to the downside even, um, or just moving sideways more, which we've been doing. And I would expect that this thing, you know, being that it's it's based off of crypto, it's a crypto mining company, uh, it probably won't excel to the upside until after the halving. Now, it could break this line before the halving. Maybe you break, you know, maybe you come up again, you find support or resistance, and then you come up and you break through it. And then maybe you come down and find support afterwards, like off of this top here, this top here, something like that. And then that could happen the way I have this drawn, it looks like it's all happening very fast. This would be by the end of the year, actually. Um, maybe it happens that fast. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It does look like it likes to move to the upside, so that that could happen. But it moves down and sideways so slow. I don't know. What I what I would expect, lines be damned. What I would expect is that you don't really have a significant move to the upside like this again until after the having or or close to it. You know, at least maybe like a month or two away from it, which would put us into next year before seeing that kind of move. And I would expect that you'd see that kind of move from this breakout of this overall range. So you might be range bound more or less forming higher higher lows, sorry, higher lows and keeping this kind of like flat top area here as your like resistance zone until next year. You really could be seeing something like that. Maybe you do break it before next year, but if you do, I would expect uh, you, you would kind of like stall. I would expect like a stall and then, and then once we get, we have the having, which the having isn't here. It's actually it's it's more like it's actually closer to like over here um, would be the having. Doesn't matter where the price is. It's over here. It's on. It's in, it's in this column here. Um, I don't know what to draw from that. I can make it like a, a doobie. I don't know some smoke or something. I don't know. Um, but after the having or leading up to the having is when I think you would really get your significant move that takes you to the upside. Um, miners, you know, ha the halving is going to happen. So that means that Bitcoin is going to be producing half as much Bitcoin as it does now in block rewards, which means that there's going to be more scarcity and, you know, implying that there's the same demand or more demand and you cut your supply in half that would do any, you know, from, from a fundamental economic standpoint, that would pump your price. So, so I think that that would be a good thing for this, for this company. Um, going off of things though, without the TA here, let's see. Looking good on your RSI, definitely looking constructive. Higher lows for sure, looking nice. Daily RSI, looking strong, man, looking very strong. Double bottom, you got like an Adam and an Eve on your RSI. Looks really nice, man. You're probably gonna go to the overbought zone, um, but you're really close already. So again, you know, just be aware. You really could find resistance up in this area around like 440, 437, something like that. You really could. And then from there, continue to go. Just like look at that resistance over here, support right here, resistance, resistance. I mean, that that would make sense to me. So be aware of that. And again, what was it that was making me think? Oh, yeah, we have this 382 from the top to the bottom here. We did actually just hit the 382, which is also an area that we found kind of resistance and support and support before we could turn around from here and just like come down to about three dollars and seven cents three dollars five cents something like that and then bounce up from there continue to go up to the six one eight seven eight six eight eight six area somewhere in here probably like within i'd probably say more likely somewhere in this range than this range but uh just look for that and that's that's really all i have to give you so so if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe to see more and i will see you guys on the next one take care bye bye